folks, we got a huge problem. And it ain't the tractor. Our doggone heat and air unit went out. So guess what? We gonna build us a forklift attachment for the front end of this thing. That way we can do it ourselves. Welcome back to T-Bone After Hours. I'm T-Bone. Let me show you what we got going on. I've got this quick attach plate here, which will hook right onto my front end loader. I got it off that jungle website. I'll put a link to that right down in the description for you. We got some heavy duty inch and a half round stock down here. Super thick, heavy duty round pipe there. Black pipe, I ground all the stuff off so I can weld. I still gotta clean these forks up. And these were all donated to me for this project. This piece, I bought myself. <laughs> These doggone things are heavy. All right, so I think I got a plan. I'm going to take these pins out, hopefully. There we go. And I think that'll mount right there once I get all this ground down nice and squared off. Well, I should have caught that on camera. When I pulled the pin out the other side, I already drew blood. Story of my life. So if you ain't drawing blood, you ain't working, are you? Forgot my ear protection. That's no better. I can't even hear myself. Can y'all hear me? Now, after I cut all that weld off up here, then I went back and took a disc, and I don't know if you can tell how shiny that is. But anyway, you want this stuff super clean, and I got another tip. We're working with some really thick steel. I got big old fat sausage fingers. You see how thick this is. That's going to mount right there. Now, I'm going to tack weld this on in place. But before I go to weld it, I'm going to take my torch and I'm going to heat the heck out of this. I want this bad boy hot before I weld it. Y'all stick around. You also want to grind off a good clean area to put your ground from your welder. We're just using a, it's a little Millermatic 180, some mixed gas, our homemade welding cart. This is something else you might want, some nozzle gel. Only takes a second. Get your wire brush or something. Clean this, your tip up, your cup. No, I'm not sponsored by these people, but a little nozzle gel Q-tip, you know, after you clean up wire brush, put some all over everything. Did y'all click that subscribe button yet? I sure hope you did. That's perfect. All right, well, I got both pipes tacked in place. Now, just so y'all know, that is not my welding across there. That's how this plate came straight out of, I don't know, China. I don't know where it come from. But anyhow, we're going to see if we can do a little better job than all this undercut mess. Hopefully we can. Next, let's get this thing mocked up so we know where we're going to be. Well, we're going to keep this as simple as possible. Yeah, I'm going to take this back apart and clean this rod up. Slide me a pipe on right there. If I don't knock it all apart. What this is going to do is ensure that I'll be able to slide my forks back and forth and adjust them where I want. And putting it together like this, I'll be able to tack them in place on this plate. Then we'll take it all back apart and weld it up. Now I did put a little tack under the bottom on all three. That way it don't start to curl when you weld one side. Let's get it back apart now. 
just too easy. Now there's a couple reasons I wanted to take it back apart. And I'm gonna take this plate back off the tractor. Now I could disconnect the battery, but there's an awful lot of expensive electronics in this tractor. So I'm gonna take this plate off, kind of prop it up and weld it on the floor, not on the tractor. Now, as I was saying, we're gonna heat this bad boy up before we start welding. Now listen guys, I'm not a professional welder by any means, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a pass down through, then we're gonna keep building on it and building on it and building on it. Both sides, every bit of it. Let's get to work. Now again, I'm not a pro, but that's my weld. That's China's weld. <laughs> let's keep going. Second pass, let's do the third. Again, I ain't no pro. That's the third pass. Let's keep going. Smoking. So I preheated this, and there's our first pass. I'm just going to keep building on it. Probably going into about draw weld. I might come back and put a plate here and a plate on the back. Just I want it to lift a house. I think it'll be fine though. Still got to do that when y'all stick around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the deal. You shake it till the ball quits rattling. So who wants to see a video about T-Bone replacing my own heat and air unit? Y'all leave it right down in the comments. Let me get all this mess painted up. See you in a minute. All right. Y'all wish me luck. I can barely see. Let's we'll see if I can get this thing hooked up. It's too daggum heavy for me to lift off the table. Moses, I'm gonna probably knock it on the ground and to pick it up anyway. Whoa. Gentle. Gentle. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Do I got it? Jack stand's gonna fall, I think. Yep. That means success. It's getting dark out here, folks. All right, y'all. Here we go. Let's see if we can line this bad boy up. I can't see nothing. Am I? How close am I, y'all? Nobody knows. Y'all got it. Oh, saw a fork move. All right, hold on, y'all. All right, my door is in the way. The paint probably still daggum wet. My door's in the way, y'all. Here we go. Come on, baby. I know it's just painted. I know I'm gonna scratch it up. I don't care. I just want to look pretty for a minute. I'm gonna paint the forks. Crazy. Y'all stick around. This video ain't over. The only other thing I'm gonna do too, that, and I'm not gonna do it now on this video, but where this rod is, you see, a little longer. This uh, round stock, I'm gonna probably either just weld, tack weld a little washer on each end so it don't slide out. And, uh, or either I might drill some holes, put some quick pins in it. I don't know. I'm probably never ever gonna take it apart again. So anyhow, 
Y'all stick around. I know somebody said you missed the spot. Yeah, I don't care. Don't get it scratched up anyway. We appreciate you guys tuning in to T-Bone After Hours. I'm T-Bone. Remember, click that subscribe button, share these videos with your friends. Maybe give us a thumbs up. Well, I got some junk to go move with this thing. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to do a heat and air coming up soon. So sweet.